Hey there, Drew Canoli, FitLife.tv. Remember, we're in this together. It's another Mindset Monday, and I'm excited you're here. I wanna to talk to you about something that I'm really passionate about, and I think you are as well if you're watching this video. You see, you didn't just bring this video into your experience for no reason. I truly believe every piece of information that I put out there, there's people watching it that are connecting to it. So I hope that in this video you connect to what I'm saying, and if you do at the end of the video, just give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know you're there with me. So today I wanna to talk about five ways to be authentic or why we should be radically authentic. And when I say authentic, I mean being who we really are, you know, your true self. When you don't wear any masks that disguise yourself. So if I go into the office, I'm not this formal version of Drew or Drew number two if I'm out you know, with some friends and having a breakdancing fight <laughs> or whatever it may be. It means that the Drew I choose to be, I'm that Drew almost 100% of the time and hopefully 100% of the time. A year ago, not so much. A year ago, I was different versions of myself and maybe a little bit longer now, maybe a year and a half ago before I started this whole Fit Life TV movement and got behind what I'm really doing in my life and became very passionate about what we're creating here together, you and me. I mean, this is a creation that you and I have going on and I'm so grateful for you. So during that time of not really knowing who I was, I would put on different masks and it's draining. It is so draining when we're constantly trying to be something that we're not. When we're trying to act a certain way, it will literally destroy you. So one thing that I realized is that the more me that I can be, and the more true you can be to you, the much easier life is. And that's number one. It's just so simple. Because when your job lines up with who you are as a person and your family and your relationships and everyone you love, they see that same person all the time, you don't have to act a certain way. You can just be. And when we just be, that's very powerful. So that's number one. Number two, it earns you mad props, okay? If you're watching this and you don't know what props is, it earns you respect, massive amounts of respect. I mean, how awesome is it to see somebody truly following who they are every single moment? You don't have to question if this person's going to act a certain way or not. You just automatically know that it's in tune with them. And that's the person that you want to be around. And you know that. You feel that on the subconscious level. So why not be the real you? That's number two. So number three, it opens up the door for honest connections. Think about it. If you're being really you and you're having an authentic conversation with somebody and they're able to pour themselves up to you in an authentic fashion, how much more powerful is that connection? How much more could you literally call that person up two, three months down the road and say, hey, remember that conversation we had? Yeah, that was really special. That was unlike a lot of the conversations that I've had in the past and I just wanna let you know that I appreciate you. So have some honest connections. Number four, authenticity is just sexy. Think about it. When, when was the last time you met somebody, and maybe you meet somebody every single time, you look in the mirror in the morning and you realize that you are authentic, and that would be awesome. But when was the last time you met somebody that was truly authentic, or you had an opportunity to spend the evening with them, or a day, or you went hiking, or to the beach with this person that was really authentic, and believed in what they were doing, believed in the mission that they were creating? That's sexy. And uh, it's a lot sexier than faking it or trying to be something that you're not. And number five, kind of goes along the lines of it just being so much easier. You see, when we wear these different masks every single day or when we're trying to be something that we're not, we're trying to impress people. We tell stories and in these stories we can get lost. We get caught up in the vicious circle about who we're really not. And then, you know, you get five or, or ten people and they ha each have a different version of you and a different story of who you really are. That's painful. It's exhausting. So what if you could just stick with one story about you? Maybe it wasn't a story. Maybe it was actually sticking with the truth and not really care what anybody else thought. How much more power would that give you? So in this Mindset Monday, at the end of this video, I want to challenge you to come up with one sentence on who the authentic you is. And I wanna challenge you to write it below this video and let me know who the, that authentic person is. What do they stand for? What do you stand for? At the end of the day, what kind of change do you wanna see in this world? 
you know, because as Gandhi said it, you know, be the change that you want to see in this world. You really have to be the authentic you to see that manifest. And I'm excited to see it. So leave that comment below this video. It's been another Mindset Monday video. I'm really grateful for you and, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video because I know how, how important your time is. So I'm Drew Canoli. We're in this together. See you soon.